Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel and part four of Olivia and Ruby. Today we're going to work on Ruby. And um, this coloring page is available in my Etsy shop. There's a link to the um, to the shop in the description box down below. Um, I do want to mention that after I finished the page last time, I came in and I added a little bit of Galaxy, just a little bit more uh, darker color in on some of the edges, and um, I think a little bit more Fig. And I used my finger and I just kind of rubbed it in. So it's not a huge change. It's just one of those, um, you know, one of those things I can't, I always have to <laughs> keep working. Um, so that's what I did. So we're going to do Ruby and I've pulled out the colors that I'm going to use. Um, I've got white. I've got... Um, Beige, Sienna Brown, um, somewhere around here I should have some espresso. Yep, there we go. And um, maybe some sky blue light for the highlights instead of white. Um, yeah, so that is what we're gonna do. Um, so I think I will start Hmm. I think I'll just do the eyes. Usually what I do is the eyes, the nose, and then I kind of work um, out from there. So I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So I'm going to go ahead and put the sky blue light down in the highlight. Sometimes that just looks nicer than white. And the eye, the irises on her are really quite dark. Um, maybe I'll see if I can lighten them up just a teeny little bit with some, some white. And then the espresso. A little bit of white. Go ahead and put the black in. They're quite dark eyes, so. I want to zoom in a little bit. Let's try that. We're going to do some highlighty, shiny bits here. I'm going to use uh, Sienna Brown. Right in here. And I think some gray, if I can find it. I can. Let's try a uh, thirty percent. Just gonna do a little bit here. All right, and I think I want to start. Oops. Let's get a little 
bit more white. So the white goes down first. A, because it helps me track where my, I want my lights to be. Um, but it also kind of acts as a resist so that when I start putting the other colors on, um, anywhere where I have put down white is going to come out lighter, which is what we want. So just thin little pencil strokes for the hairs. I'm going to go ahead and put the white down the center. He's got a, or she, sorry, she's got a white blaze that kind of goes down her center of her face. When I was young, I lived in England for about four years. And we had an English cocker. And she was beautiful. And unfortunately, I had to give her away. I gave her to some people that I knew um, when, I, when I had to leave there. But I'll never forget her. She was so beautiful. I'd love to have another English cocker. I am... Um, I'm a, I'm a spaniel, I'm a spaniel girl. I like spaniels very much. Uh, so, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, that's one of the breeds that I would like to have in an English Cocker. And I'm worried that I'm too old to have all the dogs that I want to have for the until my life is over. <laughs> we used to have, I don't know what he's barking at. We used to have multiple dogs at a time. We used to have three, three dogs at a time. Then we went down to two and now we just have Cooper. I don't think I could handle that many dogs now. I was younger then. <laughs> All right, so I've decided apparently that I'm just going to go ahead and start putting in some of these the lighter areas. So when I do these hairs, um, I'm not doing straight lines. I'm, I'm flicking, and even though the hairs are all going in the same direction, they're they're slightly um, they're slightly curving. They're slightly um, going at different angles because hairs don't, don't grow perfectly parallel to each other. They have a little bit of movement to them and that's what we want to try and replicate. So sometimes twisting your pencil as you um, make your marks, sometimes that helps kind of make that line sway off in one direction or the other. Now, I'm not saying none of them can be, um, you know, parallel to each other, but try not to make them all exactly parallel to each other. I think we'll stop at the face and then we'll work the... Um, the ears and the body. So let's just 
I'll start there. Um, so now I've got uh, beige. And I'm going to put that in almost everywhere where I had the white. Everywhere except this section here, which actually is white. All right, let's go to the Sienna Brown. So, this area in here is the darkest. And I almost think, I'm almost debating on using espresso for that. Let's do that. Let's just go ahead and use the espresso. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. I'm going to put some sienna brown in first. Actually, I'm going to carry that all the way down. Okay, and then... Some espresso. All right, here we go. Um, I want to see something here. It's been a while since I've done this page. Yeah, I can. All right. So, sorry, I had to think that out in my head for a minute. So we're going to put the Santa Brown in here. Let's go ahead and do it over here, too. Okay, so I'm going to take my beige sienna, it's pretty sharp, and I'm going to make these little hair strokes. I didn't do that over here, I should have. And so now... I'll just glaze right over the top. And then all of those little, all those little um, hairs are showing up now. Because we put them in with the white, or the, the beige sienna. All right. I didn't do the nose. I realized I did not do the nose now that I'm, that's okay. We'll get to it. So doing fur is, is really so similar to doing hair. It's all about little flicks. Only your flicks are going to be um, shorter In, in the areas where the hair is shorter. But it's really very, very similar. I really feel like if you can do hair, you can do fur.
for example, up here we put our white and our beige sienna because that's where the light is hitting. That's the highlight of the head. So now we just flick our darker color right there into that highlight. Just like we would if we were doing hair on a girl. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come from the top and work my way in. I've got, I'm going to add some more white on that highlight. Some more beige. So I want to make sure I've got beige here. And I can start working down here. So you just want to make sure that your pencil strokes are going in the direction that the fur is growing in that area. is going to be loud for a minute or two. The uh, exterminator guy is here to take care of some ants that he missed last yesterday when he was here. Thankfully not in the house. They're all outside, but I still don't want ants anywhere around me. <laughs> I don't like ants. Ants like to bite me. Alright, I'm feeling like there's not enough color on here yet. I'm still seeing too much gray. So before I move on to the next Heart. I'm just going to keep glazing some color over these areas here. Especially in here. Back here. down here.
So I've already put some white and some, some beige in these hairs, so I think I can just, yeah, just lightly put some color in there to redden them up a little bit. espresso so if you are ever doing um, an animal or a dog you know any animal a dog or a wild animal or whatever in a coloring book or on a coloring page um, just go go Google the animal and find a good picture that you think feels um, close to what you want to do. Um, that feels even uh, similar in the in the position that the animal is, and use that as your reference photo. And you will find um, doing animals much easier if you don't do them just for memory. If you do them with a photo that you can look at. Trust me, <laughs> trust me on this. Um, very, very few people have the kind of memory that it takes to be able to draw anything from memory unless it's something that they draw all the time. Um, to where you just are kind of doing it by Well, by memory, I guess. But, you know, unless you're drawing a dog and the same breed of dog over and over and over and over again, the likelihood of you getting all the details right um, is pretty slim. So reference photos are a really huge, important tool for people to use if they're going for realism. If you're not going for realism, then it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. All right, I am, I want to um, break out my blender and see what happens when I use it on these colors. Nothing, honey. That's <laughs> so weird. I don't know what's... A little bit. All right, I kind of feel like I want a little bit more reddish tones um, in the skin. So I'm going to try um, I'm thinking henna. And it might be a little bit too pink. Um, what are my other options? Terracotta, maybe. Oh, let's try some terracotta. That might be just what I need. Um, yes. So we're just going to use the terracotta, and we're just kind of, kind of going to glaze over some of these areas and it's just adding that little bit of red that I was missing.
All right, let's start to it's starting to feel a little bit better. I think the problem was when I when I did this initially, you know, it, it wasn't on top of grayscale, and so the colors that I wrote down worked, but then working on top of the grayscale needed that extra little bit of red to um, to make this look better. Something about right there, I'm not crazy about, but maybe if we just yeah, this is starting to feel much, much better. Let's um, let's work on an ear. So I'm gonna keep the terracotta in the mix, but we're gonna do a lot more beige and white, and get a brown. All right. So let's do just like we would do hair on a girl. We're gonna come in and add some highlights. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use the beige pretty substantially, I think. Then let's do let's do it just the way we did it before. So let's go ahead and use the Sienna Brown. And we'll do it just like just like hair. Trying to leave some highlight in there. going to put a little bit of this terracotta in here. And I'm going to come back in with the white. Just make some some more shapes, I guess, with the hair. Oh, 
also going to put some some little curly hairs. Let's um, put some more beige, I think. And Sienna Brown. A lot of the time when you put those light colors on, sorry guys, when you put those light colors on, like I did, with the white and the little squigglies, um, and then you come in with your darker color, it tints, it tints the, um, the light, the color that you're, you're putting on, but it still stays, it still stays light to the point that you can still see it, but it's it doesn't look like it's sitting right on top of um, what you just did. And then um, if I'm going to use espresso, I'm going to use it very sparingly, I think. works. All right, let's do this here. Um, actually, I should probably do the body next, and then these hairs will go over the top. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and do in here. So we can throw some, a few white bits. Maybe some beige. But then the sienna brown. And actually this in here is gonna is quite dark because it should be quite dark. Let's do espresso in here. Sienna Brown. Looks like I got a little splash of something on my paper there. Let's work up from here. And I put some espresso in. Um, it's really frustrating that the when I go to print edge to edge, it it cuts off a portion of my of my uh, page and it it shouldn't because when it shows me what the preview is supposed to look like 
all it does is take that page and put it edge to edge. So it should just get rid of the border and and give me my full page, but it's it's not doing that. So on yours, if you don't print edge to edge, you'll probably have a little bit more um, arm leg, a little bit more four legs um, showing that I'm that I have here. So I'm just putting some espresso in here. I want this to be nice and dark. And then some ter uh, sienna brown. We'll come in and do the legs last. Um, <clears throat> so we can just do some loose flyaway hairs on here. If you're doing it on white paper, you can just um, use your slice tool. But make sure that you have enough um, pigment down on the page because if you're trying to slice through um, just a small amount of color pencil, it's just not going to work. Um, not like, not like it should anyway. All right, so let's do. Um, Let's do our white first, just like if we were working on a girl's hair. We're going to do this little clump of hair first with the highlight. We've got a highlight here, one here. And we can do a few. I'll call that good because I'm going to... I'm going to come in and put some squigglies on there after I get some color on. So let's do beige now. how the color just blends into the, the beige and the white. You know it starts out <clears throat> it starts out strong but then as you as you are flicking and lifting your your pencil into the into what you've put down it just it just blends in and tints it and makes it look really nice. I'm going to take some white. I'm going to make my little squigglies. I'm going to do a little bit more highlight. in these shadow areas.
do. Again, if you have enough color pencil down, you can use the slice tool if you're using a white um, paper. Or you can use a white pencil if you're doing it on tan paper. I'm going to use <clears throat> some espresso. So, legs, I think we'll come back with some terracotta here in a minute, but on the legs, we've got all these little hairs that we want to show up and be lighter than everything else. So. See, this is the front of this leg. Yeah, it's really cut me off here, so it's hard. It's hard for me to tell what this is. All right, so we got that in. And we're going to take our. I'm tempted to just go straight for terracotta, but I don't. I don't think I should. So we're gonna glaze in some of this sienna brown. thinking some highlighty hairs on the tips of the ears. done the nose yet let's do the nose let's do the nose all right we're gonna use sky blue light for the nose not white That might work. 
50% cool gray and also I need some black. Let's put the, the blackest part, the blackest black is going to be his nostril. And the area under here. And this area up at the very top. Sweet baby. It's so silly <laughs> that every one of the dogs that I do, um, I fall in love with. Like, I, I took like they're real dog. Well, they, he is a real dog, but I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of embarrassing. I talk to them and I call them my sweet babies. You know, the term crazy cat lady. Well, I'm a crazy dog lady, even though I only have one. I love them all. They're like, and cats too, you know, animals, animals in general. But since we, you know, we mostly live with dogs and cats for the most part. Um, they're like, they're just, they're just pure love and innocence. You don't have to deal with any human bullshit. <laughs> they're just... They're just little gifts of love. I think if I had my, um, if I had my way, I would live out in the middle of nowhere on a farm with animals. Good internet. <laughs> Gotta have good internet. Um, Hospital within, you know, like 20 minutes, that would be nice. But just no people, just out in the, out in the middle of nowhere with like a creek or a, you know, a, a, a big creek or a small river on the property with lots of trees and a big art studio with huge windows. <laughs> And I would just spend all of my time taking care of my animals and making art and wouldn't that just be a lovely life? Alright, am I happy with that? I'm something not quite. Almost not quite. We might be throw in some Posca in here. In fact, let's just let's just put some highlights right now on that nose. Oh, that looks very nice. We'll do a couple underneath where it's wet. A couple here. All right, I want to add some more um, rich, dark color under here. Now, this would be a spot, um, you don't have to do it, but this would be a good dog to do. And you could use espresso, you could use the same colors that we've been doing, but 
you know. I can't leave well enough alone. So I have to search for my, hello, oh, it's on, a... there we go. My warm earth luminance. How nice that looks. It's got the red tones that we want, but it's nice and dark. Oh, I love that pencil. Just love it. If you don't have it, just use, keep using the colors that we've been using. Espresso, Sienna Brown. All right, I want some darker reddish tones in here. about this. Am I totally happy with the eyes? I am not totally happy with the eyes, but I'm not positive what I need to do to fix them. Let's um, darken. Maybe that's the problem. They're not. I didn't add any black yet really in here. That's helping. It's just, it's just the best color. All right, so the um, the whiskers are showing up still fairly well. Um, but we can add more. And, and what I would actually do is instead of trying to um, go over them. I would just do new ones and let the um, the parts that are showing go ahead and be like, you know, further back or, um, you know, darker ones in darker shadows. I wouldn't try and, and follow the exact lines that are, that are um, there on the grayscale. Just let them be another another layer of whisker, and you should be good. All right, I think the only other thing I want to do is just add a little bit of that in here. And there's just a little area here that's a little too bright. That's better. Let's do a couple of hairs here. And then actually, I'm going to zoom out. Actually, let's let's do some hairs 
that are going on top of the background because, you know, that would happen. Maybe some coming Pretty good. We could do dark ones too if we wanted to. Just a few. All right. Um yeah, I'm going to call that, I'm going to call this page done. So there you go, another one in the can. <laughs> um, thank you for being here. Uh, I've got a couple of weird lighting issues going on, but as always, I will um, show you the page in natural light at the end of the video. But um, this was, this was fun. And I like the way it turned out. I hope you um, had fun as well. Um, don't forget, if you haven't purchased the page already, there is a link to it in the description box below. And I always put all the supplies that I use on a page, um, barring any accidental um, uh, omissions. Um, I try and always put down what I'm using on, on all of the pages down down in there. There's a lot of good info in there as well as a link to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry. Um, as well as a link to my Facebook page, um, my Facebook group, which, um, you know, is for, uh, is for chit chatting. Um, there's not a lot of chit chatting going on in that group right now. There's, um, people that are posting their, um, their finished coloring pages, which is lovely. Um, but if anybody ever has any questions or wants to, you know, run something by uh, myself or, or a fellow colorist, um, you guys are always welcome to post questions and um, and uh, and show off your your colorings of, of uh, my pages and the pages that you do from tutorials and stuff like that. So I'd love to have you come over there and join us. That is all, and um, until I see you guys for the next um, coloring page, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Happy coloring. Bye.